And uh, Nate just gave me the movement for uh, a vision for black lives. This is from the movement for black lives. Policy demands for black power, freedom, and justice. And this is a great summary of, yeah, this is from policy.m4bl.org. And uh, number one, end the war on black people. We demand an end to the war against black people. Since this country's inception, there have been named and unnamed wars in our, on our communities. We demand an end to the criminalization, incarceration, and killing of our people. Number two, reparations. We demand reparations for past and continuing harms. The government, responsible corporations, and other institutions that have profited off the harm they have inflicted on black people, from colonialism to slavery, through food and housing, redlining, mass incarceration, and surveillance, must repair the harm done. We've discussed this a number of times on this program, but it's been a while since we've had that conversation. Divest, invest. We demand investments in the education, health, and safety of black people instead of investments in the criminalizing, caging, and harming of black people. We want investments in black communities determined by black communities and divestment from exploitative forces including prisons, fossil fuels, police, surveillance, and exploitative corporations. Economic justice. We demand economic justice for all and a reconstruction of the economy to ensure black communities have collective ownership not merely access. Community control. We demand a world where most, those most impacted in our communities control the laws, control the institutions and the policies that are meant to serve us, from our schools to our local budgets, economies, police departments, and our land, while recognizing that the rights and histories of our indigenous family must also be respected. And I'll reach to Native Americans as well. And finally, political power. We demand independent black political power and black self-determination in all areas of society. We envision a remaking of the current U.S. political system in order to create a real democracy where black people and all marginalized people can effectively exercise full political power. And what are we getting from the Republican Party in response to this? Oh, let's make it harder for people to vote. Let's purge people from the voting lists. Let's, uh, you know, and, and it just goes... The, the, the war on, on, well, on communities of color, on black people, continues in the Republican Party. It's, it's just, it's pretty, pretty friggin' breathtaking.